Welcome to Shami Kapoor Unplugged. We are talking about my Baba. Hera Khan Wale Baba. Last time I told you about how I saw him for the first time and uh, I kept taking pictures of him and he kept taking pictures of me in his, I don't know, he kept taking my x-rays I think. That was 74. Then in 75, I learned that Babaji was going to come down to us. From his ashram in Hera Khan, he was going to come down to Brindaban. Now Brindaban is where he kept his another ashram. It was very convenient for people who lived around. His small devotees to come and meet him on Guru Purnima, the day that you worship your Guru, you pay homage to your Guru. And I, I was told that he was going to come down to Vrindavan and why don't I go and see him there? My wife was very insistent, so I said, okay, let's. So we went to Vrindavan. No, we didn't go to Vrindavan. We went to Agra, which is an hour and a half away from Vrindavan. And uh, we put up there at a five-star hotel, right opposite the Taj Mahal. You could see the Taj Mahal. And uh, we went and drove all the way to Vrindavan to see Baba. And this is again very uncanny. It's as if Baba was waiting for me to come. He was outside in the, what do you call it, veda, veranda. And as I entered, he just said, come, come. As if he was waiting for me. Well, that is how it started. And uh, then we used to be with him the whole day <coughs> and go back to Agra, the five-star hotel with its five-star amenities. I, mean, I wasn't staying in Vrindavan, no way. In the Dharamshalas, no, no. And in the evening, I was up to my usual life. My, I used to have my three, four drinks of scotch and I used to eat my whatever I had good to eat. Uh, there was a dance floor, I think, and my wife and I used to... Yes, we used to. And in the morning, I used to drive from there with my wife and come down and spend the whole day with Babaji. So it was beautiful. It was wonderful. It was as if very gradually, he was pulling on these threads and getting me near him. Gradually. And we stayed there for about five days. And every day this happened. He didn't force me to do anything. He didn't say, stop smoking, stop drinking. I'll, I'll become a vegetarian. No, 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 no. no. But, and there was nothing like a lecture going on there. No, it was just silence. It was you keep on singing a bhajan. And then he used to be sitting in that heat on a char pie and look at you. And it is as if he was looking at everyone at the same time. How could he not? And I remember the last day. And again, this is. This, after Babaji left, he was leaving for Herakhan. So we bid him goodbye, went to the station and we bid him goodbye and then we sat in our car and went to Agra. The same Taj Mahal was there, there was a ballroom and uh, but this time there was no peace. I was having my second drink, a third drink, my, very unruly crowd of students who came over, eh, hey, Shami Kapoor, Shami Kapoor. This happened. It happened all of a sudden. It had not happened in the last five, six days that we were there. We are very peaceful, we were left to ourselves. We danced today. And today, all of a sudden, the whole atmosphere became tense. Things are not nice. I, I definitely was not happy with it and, and my wife turned to me and said, I think he's gone. 
So he has taken that peace also with him. It's about time. This is what he is telling us that we should also. And that's what we did. Packed up. Next day we got a flight from Delhi and <coughs> we are back in Bombay. And that is my first interaction with Hera Khan Paribar. I could. I have so much to tell you yet. Please don't go away.